Okay, I think we are about ready to go. Let's see. Phone setup, volumes down. That's good to go. How's my camera? Let's. Let's do that. Okay. <clears throat> Let me swap it over. Swap it over. All right. Come on. There we go. And there's Bobbery. There he is. Ooh. Two more crystal stars to go. And we know one of them is with the x -Nots. Last time on Paper Mario, the Thousand-Year Door, we uh, went 50 floors down in the pit of 100 trials to get the Strange Sack to hold five more items in my inventory. Then we went to Keyhole Key to go get some pirate booty. And we came out with a crystal star and a skelly ship. Ain't that exciting. Now we just, we need to go to the thousand year door. I basically saved it as soon as we got back. Uh, so, and, I, and on the way back, we saw Luigi. And there's also something I found out. Anyway. Let's talk to Luigi. Well, I got another piece of that marvelous compass at Jazzafraz Town this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I turned adventuring into an art form on that little quest too. Ho! Oh. I was pretty dramatic, bro. Want to hear the story? It's a long story. Let's talk. Let's see Jazzafraz Town. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. As soon as we hit Jazzafraz Town, we were overcome by the glitz and gl and the glamour. It's a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live in there, and they're always smiling. While looking for the piece of the compass, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I told him he couldn't. I told him we couldn't, since we were looking for the compass pe uh, compass part, you know. But Hazy said we could win the compass part in the upcoming drama slam. He said the so-called Drama Llama pr uh, plaque might, in fact, be one of the parts. Well, we just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage. Our musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. I don't know if that's the same title, but I don't remember the original. The script was great, but I got really hosed, bro. My role, my part, was grass. I play, I play grass by the side of the road. Grass, bro! Grass! I just sprawled out of the ground and had to be silent. Everyone but me had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who cares someone based on that? It was awful. In the end, our musical was the talk of the town, and we won the drum slam. I got the compass part I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. The huge after party was just just made me feel worse, so I snuck out the back door. But wow, outside were tons of fans! My fans! Fans of grass! They swarmed me! I just couldn't believe it! Imagine, cheering for grass! I was ecstatic, bro. After that, I added, a, added the piece to the Marvelous Compass, which pointed north. It pointed to the rapturous ruins in uh, Grimble, Grimble Forest. And th then, the voice again. Oh, my cherished pr Princess Eclair, how you soothe me. I would be grass for you. I will find you. I will reach you. I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. Well, sorry about that, bro. Um, yeah, anyway, then I got back to my book. I came back to Roport, and here I am. Another leg on my adventure completed. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just find me. I thought I heard that Bomberi will actually stay awake for his stories. Like, he's the only one that would do that, but we saw that he falls asleep, so... Maybe that's a change from the GameCube? Or... Maybe the internet was lying to me, I don't know. Or maybe he only falls asleep to Luigi, I don't know. Hi, I'm Hazy, and I must say, Luigi is, the, is a great actor, one of the finest I've seen. After this adventure, we're going on a tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the 
I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle, and of course, Luigi will be grass. Wow, one partner that actually doesn't hate Luigi. That's Luigi's Daisy friend, Hazy. Apparently, Hazy is an actor director. You know Luigi's acting debut, right? The grass thing? I could never play grass. I want to be a I want to play a princess, and a prince would make me and wake me with a kiss. So romantic. Anyway, so before we go to the thousand year door, let's just take a look around here. This is a new remix, and I don't remember this being here. So I think this was added as soon as Cortez's ship was here. Or maybe even when the uh, Flavio's boat was here. I don't even think this remix was here earlier. I could be misremembering. But back here... We got the HP drain. You drop your attack power by one, but you get one HP when attacking. Or you regain 1 HP when attacking. At least that's more consistent than, uh, you know, Happy Heart. Is there anything? That's just her talking about the open chest. Nothing here. I think that's it. Just the star piece and the badge. Alright. Now we're gonna go to the Crystal Star Room. We'll do that first before doing anything else. Luckily, we can take the shortcut. Okay, I need Ugo. All right, mail time. Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called Tech here. By cooperating with this tech, I've managed to obtain some of, my, some of these fiends' data. Tech is currently analyzing it, and, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once his analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of, of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be good, okay? Princess Peach. Rock on! That princess is pretty rad, huh? Wow, we ought to get to work, too. You know, <clears throat> even though Peach is not able to do as much as in this game versus you know Paper Mario 1 where she actively tried to escape she can't really do that here she's at least helping Mario out in some way or trying to rope work today late in the afternoon today Gumez known for napping in the flowers in the West Side Park was found eating flowers and giving a stern warning by authorities as for comment Gumez stated well I, I just really, really love flowers. I was hanging out, and before I know it, they're in my mouth. I'm so ashamed. Citizens of Roport responded with disbelief and grudging support for the strengthening of flower conservation efforts. This time, we introduced the Twilight Shop. Sharp reporter, go. Watching the husband and wife uh, proprietors of the shop at work is heartwarming. Is a heartwarming sight. But don't get on the on the hubby's bad side. Don't you go smiling at my wife says the jovial, jealous shopkeeper. I'm hers for life, and your fancy big city teeth aren't gonna change that. Well, who ought to doubt their eternal love? Surely not this reporter. We press the shopkeeper for further comment, but the regret but regret that his words are unprintable here. Oh, wow. <laughs> we did learn from his highly chatty spouse that there will be a double point sale for all RDM readers, just show her this screen for the next 15 minutes to double your points on any purchase. That's true. F you got 15 minutes and so you could get double points. All right, my little rookies. We're here on an intermediate level recipe today. The dish is healthy salad. Just slice up a turdly leaf and a horsetail. Mix them up together and you're done. Perfect for the next gathering, herbo next gathering of herbivores. That's all for today, but check your mailbox soon for another exciting issue. Uh, thanks for the follow, Eliza James. Thank you for the follow. I have leveled up. I should be... I, I think I should be level 80... Uh, 83. How am I doing? I'm doing fine. We finished Chapter 3 and we're on the way to the Thousand Year Door. And be mostly doing some cleanup, like, troubles and stuff like that. 
But yeah, how's it going on your end? Uh, do I have anything I can mix with? No, not really. Let's just go to the Thousand Year Door. So yeah, we are, uh, right now, after this, we're gonna be focusing on getting some of the troubles done, including the one I skipped, so I could save a trip to Hooktail Castle, as well as, ooh, wait, new enemies. Hold on. Some of these are new. I think they are. Uh... Okay, there we go. Yeah, so gonna be focused on that, and it seems like there's a new battle at the Glitz Pit with Prince Mush. And I'm gonna want to take care of that before moving on to Chapter Six. That's a Magic Koopa. You know, a Koopa Wizard. Max HP is seven. Attacks four. Defense is zero. I'll throw. It'll throw in a load of pain our way while using magic to help its buddies. What a creep. And when there is only one of them, it splits up to multiple copies to mess with us. Sup? Stop this thing fast, or we'll be in a world of hurt. I'm assuming you played Thousand Year, Do Thousand Year Door before, but have you tried out the remake? This is a first playthrough of the remake itself, so... Having fun. Having fun with me in the stream. Yeah, yeah. Oh! They summoned reinforcements. That's, uh... That's not good. That's a Koopa Troll, a Koopa Tripper who protects himself with spiked armor. HP 6, attack is 4, defense is 2. It's, it, attacks, uh, it, it attacks with its shell and its head, and then sometimes charges up for a fierce move. Plus, if you take too long to win, it'll come reinforcements. Yeah, sort of gnarly, huh? It's one of the, wor it's one of the worst of Bowser's guys. Koopa Troopas dream of being Koopa Trolls. Hey, by, and by the way, what do you think Bowser's doing now, anyway? Eating? Mm, maybe. In his childhood memory. Exactly. Hold on. No, didn't get it right. Yeah, uh, been playing this on and off for 20 years, and then the remake is great so far. There's a few changes that I don't necessarily agree with, but overall, the game is still the game. Um, great, more reinforcements. Okay. So, but yeah, uh, again, this is still a first playthrough of the remake itself, and I don't really know everything that's in the game. Yeah, I still have the game. I have the GameCube version. I didn't, I didn't get the GameCube version at, what are they throwing at me? I think that's a coin. Okay. The big bomb was like in the way and I couldn't see. Uh... You know what? If I go with Coops, I could go Power Shell and get rid of two of them. But yeah, anything new that's in this one, I don't necessarily know about. So it sounds like there's a fight with Prince Mush, and that's new to me. I did not know that. And I guess I'll, I think I'll just let Coops attack. But yeah, I did not get Thousand Year Door GameCube version at launch, you know, as a kid, you don't have access to money all the time. Uh, but I picked it up used it at, when I was like in high school, when they were still, when GameStop was still selling GameCube stuff. Spyro, oh uh, yeah. Uh, I remember dabbling in Spyro, but I didn't get to play it that much because I didn't have a PlayStation. I missed it. Jeez, this guy's just summoning reinforcements. I mean, look, we'll get the EXP. I'm all for that. But like, this is a little ridiculous, don't you think? So, uh, one thing I'm gonna point out, uh, so far in this run, 
We have three cases of Merly's Curse, doubling my EXP on bosses. We got it on uh, Magnus Von Grapple. We got it during, I think we got it during Dupless. There we go, now he's stopping the reinforcements. And we got it to activate during the Grotus fight. No, no, uh, the Lord Crump fight uh, during chapter five. Not the Cortez one. So a little lucky there. Is that exactly 100? No, no, 110. Whatever. I was not expecting that level up, but here we go. And as, you know, the name implies, I have to go with more BP. More badges, you know. It's not a BP only run if I get anything else. But yeah, I, I, uh, I had like a friend that had Thousand Year Door, so I was able to play it from, uh, borrow the game from him. But eventually, sometime when I was in high school, I picked up a cop, a used copy for myself, and that's this one. It looks like I paid fifteen dollars for this thing. What do I do other than streaming? You mean uh, nothing really? <laughs> I stream, I play games, watch movies and stuff. So yeah, you know, 15 is not bad for something that was like a little over 10 years ago. Yeah, a little over 10 years ago, maybe close to 15. Okay, so I had ha Heartfinder equipped temporarily. And now what I can do is I can equip Power Plus for just a straight up attack boost. They will never know what hit them. And now, if I'm correct, Thousand Year Door is going for like 80 bucks. I think the price of Thousand Year Door GameCube went down because the remake came out. So that's good. I mean, I could double check that. Oh, this is happening. I'm curious now. What is Thousand Year Door looking like? Uh, what do we got? Uh, GameCube. A complete copy, 80 bucks. For GameCube Thousand Year Door. Yeah, that's about what it is now. It used to be higher. But thanks to the remake, it's gone down. Still pretty pricey, though. Still pricey. But yeah, uh, you mentioned you played the GameCube version before, but have you tried out the new one? This one. Which game is all-time all favorite? Oh, no. You can't have me pick that. I played, like, a bunch of different games. I can't just pick one. <laughs> if you can narrow it down to, like, uh, not genre, but, like, Mario franchise or whatever. Oh, yeah. Or, like, Zelda, and, you know, I could probably pinpoint that. But all-time? I don't know. I can't pick that. No, I didn't play this one. I will. Yeah. yeah. Great news, my friends. We are now... Now we... Now we know the next Crystal Star is in Poshley Heights. Wait a minute. I've heard... I've heard tell that only the rich and famous call that place home. Yes, yes. And I believe Poshley Heights is also the home to a shrine to the stars called Poshley Sanctum. The next Crystal Star must be hiding inside that sanctum. I'm certain of it. Fairly certain. Most, mostly certain. But hey, no fearsome monster or dangerous da dungeons this time. Just a simple tourist attraction. Oh, sounds positively uh, scintillating. Dear boy, point is there. There are any games. There are any games. Like the most you love to see it everywhere. Ooh. Um. I don't know, honestly. I just like playing a bunch of different games. But like, for example, like, uh, the Mega Man Battle, ne Battle Network Le Legacy Collection came out last year, and I was so excited for that. Uh, 
and I'm so happy it's gotten a comeback, and I'm so glad it sold well. It's just too bad it just kind of, Mega Man in general just doesn't really seem to be all that popular, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's kind of a tough question to ask for me. Like, I could probably tell you what my favorite Paper Mario game is, but all of all gaming? I don't know. I have a lot of games that I like. That's the best part. You like you ride the most famous train of all, the Excess Express. Yeah, after a luxury luxurious steam engine excursion, the next crystal star will be yours. Getting those crystal stars have been ba backbreaking work, but this time will be a cinch. Pardon me for saying so, but mustn't you have a treasury full of riches to ride that train? Sorry if I can't really answer that, but I actually find it very difficult for me to pick a favorite game of all time. Hmm, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pianta for help with this, too. Ah, uh, no, terribly sorry. Mm, impossible, get to it. The man's reprehensible. Oh, drag, I suppose there's nothing for it, eh, old boy? If we must, we must. Let's go. Excellent, then we're set. We may not have much time until the demon resurrects. You must hurry. I ga I'll gather all the information I can. You guys just handle your end of things. So, now that we've... Okay, hold on. More mail. Are you Mario? Did this email... Did, did you get this email? Look, technology freaks me out. So if you're not Mario, please destroy this email, okay? If you are... But if you are, thanks for saving my captured friends. I figured I'd share a hot tip with you, with you as thanks. So here it is. There's still lots of treasures and creepy steeple. Of course, knowing you, you probably already found it all. Ugh, I'm so useless. Well, enjoy your not-so-useless adventure. The creepy steeple boo. Yeah, in case you never found that little uh, hidey hole there, it hint tells you that's where it is, and that's where also where a cookbook is. An idea. Ooh, that might make. What's your idea? Oh, what impeccable timing! Yes, this was destined. When I com uh, consulted my star charts, I saw a portentous sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair, near the empty black chest that cursed you lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. If you figure out this mystery, come and tell me immediately. Well, anyway, let's go and power up, uh, Bobbery. Let's go and get that done. Wow, I have ten. Okay. Now let's go take care of some troubles. Alright, that's done. Hmm. Granted, I don't really put... I have not really played that much Mario on here. Really, when it comes to Mario, I've only played the first Paper Mario and this one, so... But I have something in the works for uh, a logo and banner at the moment. So hopefully that'll be updated in the next, I don't know, week or two. I'm, I'm after an elusive badge. Must explain in person. Meet me on the roof of Zesty's house in Rogueport Square. Yeah, so far, right now I got a logo and banner being worked on. Hopefully that'll be done in a week or two. I don't know how much logo and banners actually help, but hey, it's probably better than what I have now, right? Let's go start this trouble that I skipped. I saved this one for after chapter 5 because I wanted to save a backtracking trip. It's Miss Mouse? What? <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. Hmm. 
and I'm a pretty lucky girl to have a strapping fellow like you take on my trouble. Well, let me get it right to let me get right to it, okay? I've done all I can to find this one elus elusive badge, but I failed at every turn. Are you making? Uh, I have someone making that for me. Maybe I might eventually make stuff on my own if I find the motivation. But right now, I have the logo and uh, banner being worked on worked on by someone else at the moment. Although uh, I had a friend create me a Scott Bot design, and that I'll be using throughout, you know, going forward eventually. So yeah. The badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair. Of that, of that much, I'm sure. I went to check out that room after I heard you defeat Hooktail, but nothing. I did hear rumors that to find this badge, one has to use the wind. I have no idea what that means, though. Anyway, look for it, okay, sweetie? Back to Hooktail. And remember, Merlin's like, you need to go to Hooktail, too. I'm like, okay. Got the car, too. That's cool. That's cool. Am I winning? Well, uh, if you count going to Hooktail as winning, sure. Oh, and we can now, we can now explore a bit more of Rogueport. How's it going, Act? Let's go see what's in this house that we couldn't see and that we couldn't get to until now. Ooh, what do you do? <laughs> Welcome to Chet Rippo's Adjustment House. This is where you come to adjust your stats or your partner's ranks. If you want some adjustments done, talk to me from the other side of the table. You come to quite a ways. This is Chet Rippo's adjustment house. If you think you want to change your stats or your partner's ranks, then I can adjust those things for the low, low price of 39 coins. So who needs adjustments? So, how it works is you pick a stat. And let's see. Let's just say badge. But then you have to lower one of your other stats. FP, because I never powered it up, can't be lowered, but you can lower your HP to 5. And that's the lowest you can do. I will not be doing any of this, because I don't think it's needed. But, that's how you can respect. You got, you got Ice Stream Act? Wow. How does Ice Stream work? Uh, thanks, uh, thanks, Eliza. I, I just think I, after a certain point, I probably just need to do stuff on my own because I, I don't have any money. I, after, uh, after getting the logo and banner done, I probably will have to just do, work on things on my own. Let's see. Uh, we're going to Hooktail Castle, and this is probably the faster route. And we can't get that treasure chest just yet. I don't, unless streaming picks up. I mean, that's the alternative, I guess. But for now, that's just what it is. Let's go see what's over here. A shine sprite. Wait, how am I supposed to get to that pipe? How, how am I supposed to get over there? I forget. Um, You can't use Yoshi. Is there a... Oh, duh. You're supposed to use a later upgrade. Yeah. Alright. It's all good. I'll keep it in mind, uh, Eliza. But, if you stick around uh, to the listen in on the stream, at least enjoy the background noise. Oh, yeah. Off to Hooktail Castle! This is why I wanted to save Backtracking Hotel Castle for this chapter, because I knew I'd be going back to Bobbery. I mean, I knew I was going to go back with because I needed Bobbery. Let's go. For the third time to Hooktail Castle. 
All right, the first time you go here is chapter one because that's mandatory. If you do one of the troubles to do the hide and seek uh, side quest, that's another trip down here. If you went straight here for doing the troubles for Miss Mouse that I'm doing now, that's a third run. But then if you held off, or if you, if you did that right away, you'd have to come back here. I'm just gonna run. You'd have to come back here because Merlin's just like, oh, there's something in Hooktail Castle. It's like, oh, great. That's four run-throughs of Hooktail Castle. And if you're not doing any troubles, honestly, this is the only trouble I would hi I would recommend potentially doing. Even if you were just like, nah, I'm gonna do like, I'm just gonna go through as normal sort of thing. This is like the only one I would probably recommend actually doing. So even, even that, I would still say two run-throughs to Hooktail Castle. So we gotta go all the way back here to the treasure chest, open the door. At least the ceiling's not on the floor. You know, we didn't get crushed. And now that we have our babam friend, let's go blow up the wall. Something that we saw all the way back in chapter one. And we get an up arrow. It's unclear what it means. You should ask somebody super. Now that we have that, we gotta go all the way to the room where we fought Hooktail for Miss Mouse's mission. Ugh. And then after this, we have two other troubles that we can do. And then I want to go to the Blitz Pit. Other than that, I can't think of anything else other than my cleanup. Other than some cleanup in chapter, uh, or around Rogueport, I mean. Yeah, isn't backtrack fun? Isn't backtracking like the best thing you can ever do? <clears throat> Look, I love Thousand Year Door, and this this version has cleared out some of the backtracking, but it's still here. <laughs> it, uh, the backtracking is still a part. It's still ingrained within Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. At least, um, at the very least, like. What was it? Th this version has cleared out some of the backtrackiness. Chapter 4, you know, you didn't have to do the, like that last uh, set of backtracking. Like, after you get the P. For Duplice's name. Like, after you get that, they had a backtracking spot. Wait, I went the- I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. And then chapter 5, you know, made the backtracking a little bit faster by adding a spring. And granted, chapter 5 didn't have that much backtracking involved, but it had some. getting a lot harder to run away. I was gonna say, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Oh, nope. I went the right way. <laughs> that was the treasure room for Miss Mouse. Okay, I need to start taking out some of these guys. Okay, what can I do? Tornado jump? Sure. There we go. It worked out. Okay. 
Now that I am going the correct way, which I thought was the wrong way, let's get this fixed up. Coops out here. No, get away from me. Stupid dull bones, get away from me. Let's go. Probably gonna use that as a fast travel. Get back. All the way up here. Come on. There, that's the right path. And let's take a look. Yes, get past the enemies, go up the tower. And what do we find? Will we find Hooktail again? Actually, what happened to Hooktail? I don't think Hooktail's dead because Hooktail was twitching. I mean, Hooktail could still be alive. Where, and if Hooktail's alive, where did she go? All right, I can't. Tornado? If I tornado jump here. That's something. What happens if I... What happens if I go? There we go. I got rid of those two. Oh, look! A defense boost! Something I totally needed right now. Don't you just hate it when you get a defense boost and when it ultimately didn't matter? Granted, it happens more when, like, the Koopa's on their back and they can't attack anyway. That's usually where it happens. Back to Hooktail's room. I see. We're with the power of wind, there was a treasure chest. An elusive badge. Take it to Miss Mouse. Nothing else here. No shortcut back. Time to run all the way back. Silence. But just the wind blowing while Mario heads back to rush to Miss Mouse's side with the exclusive badge that she could not find. Come on. Down here. Let's go. And then if we go this way, made it. All right. Off back to Rogue Port. See, isn't it glad? Aren't you glad that I saved the trip to Hooktail Castle till now? That way we didn't have to come back here again. And imagine if you saved like all the troubles for like at the very end, right? That's still two trips to Hooktail very quickly. Like, very, you know, soon after another. Granted, 
I'm pretty sure if you're going to look at talk to Merlin, you're probably going to take him up on the offer. Be like, hey, yeah, go back to Hooktail. All right. Honestly, a lot of this wouldn't be as bad <clears throat> if we could do multiple troubles at once. That's like the only change I wish they made that I could think of at the moment. Let's go. Let's go finish the trouble first and then we'll go and... Yeah, finish the trouble and then we'll go and talk to Merlin. What? Oh, first strike. That's right. I forgot I have that equipped. I could have saved myself a lot of time by doing that. Because I could have just used the hammer. I forgot I had that. I think in the original game, first strike actually cost BP. So that's... I don't remember ever equipping it. Let's go talk to Miss, Miss Mouse. <laughs> that face, does it mean you found the badge? Well, this is certainly the badge that I was looking for. Oh my, yes. <laughs> oh, now my sweet, promise to hear me out without getting mad. You see, I was the one who hit that badge. It was a little game of mine. I have to apologize. But I knew you would find it, my handsome cheese hunk. You may have even more badge-finding skills than I do. I just thought of something. Perhaps I should tra just travel with you from now on. Because <laughs> I'm sure to find lots of badges that way, don't you think? Now how about that reward? Let's see. Take this badge that you managed to find. But I expect you to lead me to more. We got the attack... Effects B badge. Now let me formally state that you will now enjoy the pleasure of my company. Miss Mouse has joined our party, our final party member. Press X and Miss Mouse will sniff the surrounding air. If there are any items or objects hidden nearby, she'll point you towards their general direction. Yes, there should be something nearby. If there is an item of something of interest nearby, her nose will twitch. Now press X again to have her check the air. There's something right near us, sweetie. Her reaction will change depending on the distance to the item. battle, she can attack enemies with Love Slap. She can also help out by using Kiss Thief and steal an enemy's item. So yeah, Miss Mouse is our final party member. Granted, Bobbery could be as well if you did this before. Castle is returned from the Cursed Island of Keelhaw Key. With treasure, maybe. Graffiti Corner. Mustache Guy is back from Keelhaw Key. I want to go. Who cares if I get cursed? A guy who wants to make some easy money. <laughs> Sadly, like, if we scan in this room, or this area, there should be something nearby. Oh, gee. I wonder if it's that big treasure chest right there. Miss Mouse. Honestly, I don't think it's that useful. One thing about her normal attack is that she ignores enemy defenses. So she's kind of like the lot of the group. But yet, I don't really care to use her. Unless I'm stealing stuff. Which I don't usually think is all that useful most of the time. What's this? An up arrow? Unless there's a badge I want to steal. An up arrow. Up? Of 
course! This is the Ultra Stone. So that is what the star sign meant. I picked it up at a flea market years ago, and I forgot it was in the attic. With this, I can power up your partners even more. There we go. We are cooking now. Care to power up a partner right this minute? Well, first, let's get Miss Mal's powered up. Because why not? Let's make sure everyone's at the same level. Now, I can only pick one more partner to power up to rank two at the moment. I am leaning towards Yoshi. Because I know what Yoshi gets, and Yoshi's going to be a monster. Okay. Let's get Ugo powered up. And then I'm thinking Goombella next. Goombella also gets a good ability. There we go. Yo, Ooh, Gump is fully powered up. We need one more Shine Sprite before, to before we power someone else up. Which, thinking about it, we can get another Shrine Sprite on the west side. Okay. We got we got some stuff to ex We got some things to explore in Rookport. Uh, first, let's go grab that treasure chest. Now that we have been cursed to a boat. There we go. Again, fading to black, that's, uh... Not something I'm used to. I'm used to the camera just literally spinning around. And we get double dip. You can use two items a row in a row by spending some FP. I don't use items enough to really utilize it. You may imagine a Paper Mario game or a Paper Mario run where you use items only. You're not allowed to do anything else. It's a lot of attacking items, and I don't think it would even be possible. Because a lot of bosses will just have way too much HP. And even if you get the strength sh strength sh sack, like, somehow you were able to do that. You know, before you even do Chapter 1. To hold 20 items, I still don't think it would be possible. I want you to meet and speak to someone for me. I'll tell you all about it in my house at Twilight Town. Eve, I believe, is the mother of the triplets. Before we go visit Eve and do that trouble, let's go and to the west side, because I know there's another Shine Sprite we could get there. How much money do I have? Okay, I should also check the bad shop. Let's see what I can get. We go all the way over here. There's another bomb spot. There we go. Shine Sprite! We saw that back when we were going for Don Pianta. Like right here, but it's blocked off. Oh! Star piece. I missed that one. Let's see. Now let's go to Twilight Town. Actually, at that point, I probably would have been better going the normal way. Oh well, it's fine. What can you, what do you sell? Just attacking items? I'll keep my money at the moment. Just take the shortcut, unlock the new fast travel. New warp pipe.
And that's a normal warp pipe to uh, Key Hall Key. The ones that are actually in the original game were basically one, two, five, and six. Okay, now with that, let's go to Twilight Town. I think, if I remember correctly, she wants me to give her a specific food item. But I don't know what it is. Oh, Mario, you accepted my trouble request. Well, it's hard to talk about in front of the children. Can we step outside? You see, one of them really wants to eat me, and it's very uncomfortable. I need you to help me to meet someone. His name is Podly, my former love. We had the same dream, to be to be stars of the musical stage. We shared our dream, and we shared a wonderful light, love for, for a time. In that cramped little apartment, we huddled together, poor but happy. But when I finally got a part in the Broad Shroom play as the leading lady, Podley left me. He left a quickly scra uh, scrawled note that said only this. My dear, I would only, I would only dim your bright future farewell. I would only dim your bright future. Farewell. Oh, Pugly, why? My dream was to always be with you, not to be the star that shines alone. I wanted only to shine with him. Success was nothing without him. I left the production while it was in rehearsal. I forgot about Podley and my dreams. I got married and lived the life of a housewife, happy in his quiet comforts. And now, I'm surrounded by beautiful children. My happiness is so complete now. I had forgotten about those days. But then I heard a rumor that Podley was running a Chocola shop in Roqueport. Could you please tell him I would like to see him again? Tell him that pure-hearted Eve has not forgotten her first love. Yes, pure-hearted Eve was my stage name. Please meet with Podley and ask how he feels about me. Please, Mario. So, are you, like... Is the husband out of the picture, or are you gonna, like, cheat on him? Like... <laughs> You had kids, right? Or did. Uh, whatever. Let's go visit Podley. I thought it was a cooking thing, but no. Podley. Come on. Fess up, Podley. Why'd you leave? Welcome to Podley's place. An intersection of human lives and drama, if you will. What's that you say? Hmm. What is it? Mario? Tell me, you look so serious. What? Eve? Is he a... I just realized, is Podly a bean person? Like, from the Bean Bean Kingdom? I just now realized that. I know no such person. But perhaps you should tell this Eve person something. Tell her, live in the moment. And that is all you needed, because I'm a little busy. I just realized I th oh my Eve. I just realized I think he's a bean bur person. I mean, granted, I should have figured he does sell to Cola Cola, which is from the Bean Bean Kingdom. But I don't know. I guess because of how old he is and he's a little pale, I didn't put two and two together that he is. He seems to be from the Bean Bean Kingdom. Makes sense. I never realized that. I feel like that should be that should have been obvious, but I don't know. I didn't catch it. Have you met with Podly? Really? What did he say? So Podly has forgotten about me. That's fine. I guess I was just feeling nostalgic. I'll probably forget about it. You know, I have these little ones to think of, so I have plenty to keep my mind busy. So hungry. Food! Food! Oh, we're having a feast tonight, kids. I have special dinners from Zesty's shop. Mario, you have one too. Oh, Mario, your inventory is full. And she gives me... something useful. Thank you so much, Mario. You breathe new life into this old girl's heart. Uh, what is... What can I get rid of? Luckily, there's a shop right over here. I can put something in storage. Okay, 
store. I'm running out of storage space. Uh, how about just a card shell? Sure. I might. I probably would have been better off using up some of the items. All right, let's go grab the item. Meteor Meal. It refills 7 HP and gradually recovers even more. So an immediate HP that's better than a normal mushroom, and then you get a regen. Could be okay. Alright, one more trouble. living out here on Keyhole Key, but there's one thing I miss. I need a girlfriend. Please come listen to my request. I'm deep in the grotto on Keyhole Key. Goom Goom's Trouble. Deep in the grotto. So basically all the way at the... Basically the entrance to the Pirate's Cove. Let's see. Oh, and while I'm here... I want to cook up the mango. I want to see what that makes me. Come on, Zesty. I want to see what it makes me. Tasty Tonic I should probably just sell or something. We get fresh juice. I think that might be a... Well, it's not a downgrade, I don't think. Hold on. Wait a minute. Uh, tell recipes. By the way, there's something else you could do with uh, these. You can use, like, a normal mushroom with maple syrup and then jam and jelly. A super shroom with a honey syrup and jam and jelly. There's one for each of them. Oh. A shooting star with a mushroom fry. Because she gave me the meteor meal, it just adds the recipe in here. That's nice. Made by with honey syrup. So I just kind of wasted the mango. There's probably another... There, there is another use for the mango. I just don't know what it is. Speaking of, uh, sound gallery. I'm still missing a shine sprite for chapter four. And I'm missing one in chapter five, it looks like. Okay. Might need to go back and double check. Let's go to Kill Hall Key. Frankie, our love is stronger and deeper than the ocean. <laughs> How's the boss, huh? You know, I just worry about that guy sometimes. So, Goom Goom. I don't know what to say, right? Must be nice to be young and in love. I, we need to go all the way to the grotto, right? That's in front of the Pirate's Cove, right? Oh look, Cortez got here, like, very quickly. I don't know how he got here so fast. Yeah, let's head all the way to the entrance. Yeah, that's a normal war point from the original game, that's for sure. Oh, great. 
great. Well, this is an easy fight. Let's see. Tornado jump doesn't help me. Power jump is not going to help me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Since we powered up Oogump, let's go with Stampede. We call a herd of Yoshis. What was that? Eight damage? And then we use Power Lift. We use Power Lift on Yoshi, give him at least like a, a three or a four attack boost. It, it, yeah, it's done. It's all done. Too good. Multi-hit moves are really good. Sadly, it costs six FP to do so. Let's treat this like normal. Oh, I forgot. I have enough power anyway. I didn't need to do that. Didn't need to waste the FP. Yeah, get it done, Yoshi. Luckily, I already have another mango in storage, just in case I need it. I don't know. I think I'll... I'll just use the tasty... or toss the tasty tonic. I don't use it. Right. Off to the grotto. Oh, I still have the fire protection one equipped. I don't think I'll need that. Not anytime soon. I could probably unequip it. Or I could just keep it on and just leave it there. I don't know. Wait, are we, am I not in the grotto? Where am I? Is there a way to tell where I'm at? Oh, Pirate's Grotto. Oh. Oh, is this person all the way at the sto uh, storage room? I think they are. Well, I'm missing a sign. I'm missing a shine sprite. I don't really need to fight anyone. There we go. Ah, fine. We'll fight both of you. Two damage. Well, let's just weaken you, I guess. Now let's go ahead and bring out... Coops. Power shell should be enough. There we go. Yeah, I'm out of FP now. I really should have used it in or something. Great, I have enough FP to do like a sleep stomp or something. Again, I think this guy is all the way at the storage room. Yeah, uh, no, I'm not fighting you. Yeah, there is definitely something else here. I'm missing a shiny sprite. Ah, great, come on. Didn't want to fight you. Well, at least it's easy. We'll leave him be for now. Ground pound. I'll let Mario attack the one in the back. And then Ugump goes and takes care of the one in the front. 
There we go. Easy. enough attack power to just do a single jump. Thanks, Power Plus. Oh, right, I forgot. Forgot about that. I mean, Mario still has enough attack power. And then I guess... Oops. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, he has defense. We'll use Miss Mouse. What does Tease do? Makes them dizzy? Okay. Well, we'll just love slap. Hmm. You have three extra defense. I can't hit you. But you know who can? Well, Miss Mouse is actually useful now. Well, we found a use for Miss Mouse. She's powered up and she still does three damage. That is very weak. I think I remember a reason why I don't use her. And that means if we fully power up, she can only deal f at most four damage. Yeah, here we go. Hey, thanks for taking all my trouble all the way out here, too. I know it's far. I came here to enjoy the island life, but I know, but now that I'm here, I just feel lonely. There's no one to date. I mean, no one. I'm just chatting up sea turtles here. So all I need you to do is introduce me to a gal who's nice and chatty. That's it. A nice chatty gal, okay? I guess my ideal match would be about my age, short like me, and Goomba shaped. Also like me. Yeah, I guess I'm describing a Goomba gal. That would be perfect. Can you give me a Goom can you give Goomba a hand? Hey, how's it going? Did you happen to find a nice Goomba gal for Whoa! Yeah, wow, yeah, she's cute, really cute! And that ponytail man. Perfect. Slam dunk, man. Yes, shalam dunk. Now, watch the artist work. I got a foolproof opening line where I can just confess my love right away. Er, hey, baby goon. Do you believe in love at first sight, angel? Because you know I do, and... What are you trying to say? Just spit it out. I love you. I like... I've, like, loved you since before either of us was born. Please, go out with me. Oh, um, this is awkward. Sorry, I'm already going out with Mario here. Bad luck, pal. I knew it. What? You have a boyfriend? Man, I've had enough of this. Peace. Sorry to put you on the spot, Mario, but that's the fastest way to get rid of a guy like that. Anyway, here. We still technically help this guy with his trouble, so let's take this as a reward. Um, you're carrying too many things at the moment. Okay, what can I get rid of? Uh, I can get rid of Kirch Shell. I can't use it? Um, really? I can't use it? Is there really no items that I could just get rid of right here? I guess I have to go this route. Couples cake. Food that slowly refills HP. You can't eat it yourself, but you can share it. I have to do this. Let's get rid of curd shell. I don't need it. Alright, that's done. 
I am missing a, uh, a shine sprite somewhere around here. I need to look around. And I don't know where to look at the moment. Let's see. What if I jump here? Ah, I think I, I think it's up here. We let that go back up. There it is. Shine Sprite. Now we have all we have the music for chapter five. We have everything. Let's see. Do we have every song here? Yes, there isn't like a a missing piece of music like in chap like for chapter three. Alright. We've done all the uh, all the troubles that we could do at the moment. Now I just need to head out of here. That wouldn't be the fastest route. I think fastest route might be to go this way. This might be a faster exit. go all the way to the end, we could just, like, shortcut out of here. I think that would be faster. I think this will be going, this will be faster than going back the way we came. Uh, the question is, do we want to go find the Shine Sprite in Chapter 4, or do we want to go to the Blitz Pit? Either way, I think it's faster to take the shortcuts. I was thinking of taking Cortez's boat. Wait, he's still here? Hey, I only got the finest stuff for you. Here, real special thingies and what's it? I mean, I don't need any of this. And it's more spendy here. I think you could buy everything from everything there in, like, Twilight Town. So, let's take the shortcut. And I think we'll head to Twilight Town. Let's get that last Shine Sprite that I'm missing. I think I have an idea of where it is. Luckily, there's a shortcut all the way to Creepy Steeple. Yep, yes, I know. Then after we get the Shine Sprite here, let's go to the Glitz Pit. And we'll go do that Prince Mush fight. I think we could just go do the fight immediately. But we'll see. I just realized some of these rooms I didn't tattle with Bo or Goombella. Damn it. Why did I say Bo? I think we want to go down here. Because maybe there's a shine sprite down over here that I skipped. I didn't fully explore this section. Never mind. Thank you for strike. I am missing a shine sprite somewhere. Maybe it's in Duplis's main room. Let's see. Get rid of some of these guys. It's not in. It's not in this under room. I went in here. What the? Huh? The interloper returns. Want me to quiz you again? If you get all three of my questions right, I'll give you something good. 
first question. Which townsperson is guarding the Rogueport East Gate? It was Gus. Very good. How do you know this? Remember the villager turned pig you met when first arriving in Twilight Town? What was his name? That was Gloomer. Very good. Question three. What will you find on the table if you stay at the inn in Twilight Town? That was a peachy peach. Very good. You got all three questions right. Guess you earned this with your huge brain, you nerd. Come back again sometime, and you'll get... Okay, it gets real dull in here. A boo sheet. Yay. I don't need it, but I'll keep it for now. Uh, again, nothing else here. I already got everything that was in here. What if I leave and come back in? Does he pop back? Yeah, he comes back. Back for more, eh? Quiz you again? If you get all three micro- I'll give you something good. Do is this just a way to infinitely get? Remember those stash statues after three pounds on the red one? How many were on the blue? Four hits. Very good. At the bridge, in Keohol Key, some sailors left Bobbery behind to escape. Who went straight by back to camp first? It was a toad. Very good. How do you know this? What's the name of the toad that opened the shop in Keohol Key? Oh, I don't know this. Uh... Charlton? Nope. And he just leaves. Anyway. Actually, you know what? I should I should try again. I should try again. Even if it's the same questions. I want to see what the reward I get is. Okay, four hits. It's a toad. Thrifty? It was thrifty. A peachy peach? Okay. I mean, I don't need it. I think I'll just use it. I should have one in storage as is. Just in case I... And besides, I could just stay at the end to get another one. It's not a big deal. If we leave and go back in. He's gone. Maybe if we come back after chapter 6, he'll give us a new item. Let's go back to Duplass's room. Maybe there's something there that I missed. Taking that path goes to the gold room. Or the gold tree. Here. Hmm. Where's the shine sprite that I missed? Oh, dang it, that's on me. I wasn't paying attention. Last shine sprite is. There we go. If it's not in here, I guess we'll just do a run through of the forest. Besides, there's a new, there's another enemy we could fight in the forest. Let's see. What's up here? I don't, I don't really think there's anything here. Miss Mouse? 
No, there's nothing here. Okay. This is all one room, so... Okay, where could a Shine Sprite be at in Chapter 4? So I'm missing one. Uh, let, let me get my heal. Might as well save, because why not? Alright. Um... Shine Sprite. There's something here. Really? Where? Okay. There's something hidden here. I'm not sure where. That's, it's probably not referring to that. Something should be nearby. A tree? Coins? Huh, come on. Yeah, what? Okay, what is nearby? If there's a hidden uh, panel... If I do this, I should be able to see it. And if there is a hidden panel... Wait, can I even open the hidden panels? Huh. Well, I don't think it's the Shine Sprite, that's for sure. I feel like I would have seen it. Something's nearby. It's on the screen somewhere, wherever it is. Hmm. This is the first I'm knowing of this. Let's see. Check around here. Maybe we'll come back to this room later. Because I have no idea what Miss Mouse is talking about. Because if I go down here, this is a different room. Yeah, nothing here. anything I I don't know what Miss Mouse is talking about if there's something here I don't know what it is and I don't know where it is something nearby does she say something different if we even get closer like when you're right on it Still something nearby. Nothing's changed. I was gonna say, is there like a hidden thing back here? Still nothing. Yeah, this is so weird. Supposedly there's something hidden here. But I don't know what it is. Well, I'll leave it be. I think Miss Mouse is lying to me. Cause I don't I don't see anything hidden here. What the 
Right near us. New tree. Great. Well, I don't have the ability to quake. I could power jump. Actually, hold on. I can... I can multi-bounce. Hold on. Oh, I thought it would flip them over. Wait, can this mouse actually fight them? Yeah. The spike's not in the front. Yeah, he's charging up. But we got this. I thought for sure that the spike was technically in the front. But, oh well. It works out fine. We can hit him. Ignore his defense. Okay, supposedly there's an item on this screen. Wait. She's already sniffing something. There's something right here. not here either. Okay, hold on. See, she's sniffing. There's something right near us. I don't know what this is. I don't see any hidden, hidden floor tiles. There has to be like a better way to find it. There's something right near us. What's on? Like, what is here? Okay, seriously, like... If there's something here, I don't know what it is. And, like, nothing... Like, I'm not hitting an invisible block. I don't see a hidden ground. This mouse doesn't really, like, point the way. She just says there's one right here. It's like, yeah, so helpful, Miss Mouse. Ugh. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Can we jump to the left? No, I guess not. Just thinking there may be something on that fort. What? There's something else here? How is there something else? Do you mean there's something here? I think that was an invisible wall I hit. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna give it one more try. Jump. Yeah, I hit an invisible wall. Okay. I don't know what Miss Mouse is on about. Jump all the way up there. Okay. Just basically normal and mazy daisies. That's fine. Let's attack them like normal. Now I'm going to grab. Okay, 
six damage. And maybe he'll run away. And I gotta be careful on the cleft. Good, you ran. Let's just jump, I guess. Oh, right. Yeah, duh. There we go, we got the bingo. Now, I guess we'll go gold. Six damage, that's something. I kind of want to fight the Amazing Daisies, though, because there is an enemy we could run into. No, I, I, I don't care about the Thunderbolt. Again, there's a Shine Sprite somewhere. Where is it? It's none of these. It's none of these guys. That's for sure. By gold. Maybe I should go on the stampede. Maybe they'll both run away. Yep, that's fine. Maybe I should have gone with Stampede. Okay, I at least got the KOs. Actually, I'm not getting experience out of this, so... Okay. I might have to look up where the Shine Sprite is. No, I, I don't really want the Ice Storm. I don't know if first attack is gonna actually cause problems. Maybe it did. Okay, seriously, like... Where's this Shine Sprite? Supposedly, there's an item around here. It's not a Shine Sprite, though. I can tell you that. Hey, Miss Mouse, you're not all that helpful, are ya? Oh, there's an item somewhere here. But where, though? Not there. Not here. Ah, there we go. Uh, we can get rid of a uh, boo sheet, I guess. There's another hidden item? Huh, weird. I didn't mean to fight this guy. Okay, fine. We'll get Yoshi. Apparently Stampede works. Stampede didn't work, it wouldn't, uh, have been toggleable. Alright. Yeah, go ahead, both charge up your attack. You totally didn't just waste a turn. Double EXP. I get a whole two experience. <laughs> so worth it. I mean, come on. 
after getting three boss ones, getting a normal enemy one where I was only going to get one EXP out of it anyway, that's honestly kind of like expected. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I just now see the coin block, but that's not a shine sprite for a Okay. Okay, nothing here. That's something, I guess. Seriously, I have no clue what Miss Mouse is on about. I, I seriously have no clue what she's on about. Back here, nothing. There's the one room with the pipe that leads us to the Creepy Steeple. Actually, there is one room I did not check in Creepy Steeple. Let's do a quick check. Don't worry, it won't be far from the pipe. Quickly double check this room with the parrot. Okay. I don't see anything here. You know what we might have to do? I might have to go to the fortune teller and ever tell me where the shine sprite is. Because this is so far the only one I can't find. I thought there might have been a hidden... Hmm. Maybe there might be a hidden one somewhere else. Hold on. Let's check some fireplaces. Okay, not... Nothing here. Like, I'm stumped on where this is. Let's check the inn. There's a fireplace. Let's take a look. Nothing. That's fine. Wasn't expecting much. Mayor's house? No. This house. Nope. Still don't know. Okay. Again, if there is a shine sprite, I have no clue where it's at. Alright. Let's go back. We can use the fortune teller to tell me where the shine sprite is. Let's go and do that. Let's do that first. Go over here. And we go into the underground town. Yeah, if we're going to be actually starting Chapter 6, we're only going to do, like, a little bit of it. I don't think we're going to get much of Chapter 6. I definitely know we're probably not going to finish Chapter 6, that's for sure. Okay, talk to you. Look at Mario. Seeing you with amazing abilities, I can see my humble job. Let's see. Shine sprites. Ten coins. Where am I missing this one? Hocus Pocus Focus! Cabra da Abra! Hello Baloo! Pack a Pooka Pika Boo! Ah, ah, stars! Show me what I seek!
I see a shine sprite underneath rug port. Near growing power up. I knew I should have checked the rest. Hold on. Let's get another one. I knew I should have waited. Until I fully explored rogue port. Let's do this again. I don't care if I spend the coins. Let's skip this. This actually takes a while. A shine sprite. In the dense eerie woods behind a tree beyond the big rock. Beyond the tree, beyond, uh, beyond the big rock. Hmm. Well, and there was something for the boat. I knew I should have done this one first. Okay, let's go down here. Oh, there's a hammer bro. Maybe I should, I should have gone and fight him. Nope, not dealing with you. Let's go take a boat. So it was in the forest with the big rock. So not in Creepy Steeple itself. When we get back there, I'll review the note. At least there's actually a log telling you, hey, you got this info? Well, you could just look at it. Oh, right, three shine sprites. Okay, at least we got rid of a couple of them. So. First things first. Umbrella. Tab. That's a sp a spunia. Its body is made up of springy discs. HP 12, attack is 7, defense of 2. May not look like much, but it's pretty tough. Watch out for those spikes on its head. It won't come at it'll, it won't come at you with anything too weird, so just hang in there, okay? I think this is a job for multi bounce. Thanks, power, power boost and jump man. And you have a defensive two. So now, oh wait, bingo! Let's see. There we go. Bingo! Full heal! Not that I needed it. Uh, sure. Fine. As long as it doesn't hit the spike. Shine Sprite, we got two. I actually cannot get this one yet. We're gonna have to come back later for that one. But first. Then we need Coops for this. Defend Plus, that's extra defense. We can't get that one. I need to come back for that. I guess I could have, should have come here after chapter six. Oh well. How was I supposed to remember that? It's not like I played the game multiple times. All right. Let's head back to the warp room. We'll check that room again. And we could get that shine sprite after uh, after taking the warp to Creepy Steeple. 
Man, imagine if I was playing the original GameCube version without that shortcut, you know? All the backtracking I just did just to go back? Man, that would totally suck. Okay. Only six, huh? Six hits, okay. So if it's single target, it is not worth using. Hmm. Well, there's a way to figure this out. Oops. Let's try it. Okay, so that didn't matter. I had to use something like Quake Hammer or something. I could have used Power Shell too, just guaranteed the hit. There we go. Oh, still doing fine. Alright, let's try this again. Back to Twilight Town. We're gonna take the work to Creepy Steeple. We'll get out of Creepy Steeple. And we'll go back to the forest with the big rock. I think with uh, the fortune telling, if you pay for, if you attempt to pay for the Shine Sprite, and there's no other shine sprites that you get, I think she'll be like, oh, there's nothing here. Here, take your money back or something like that. So you don't actually pay for it. All right. Let's double check the forest. This room. First, let me get rid of the cleft. All right. If we want the no we check the notes. Shine spread. In the dense, eerie woods, behind a tree, beyond the big rock. I think I see it. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's like right over here. Is there a... Okay, hold on. Well, let me see if there's like a spot I can squeeze past. Doesn't seem to be. How about over here? There doesn't seem to be either. I think I see the Shine Sprite, it's just I don't remember how I'm supposed to get it. Beyond the big rock. Kind of see it in the corner, see? Hidden behind the tree leaves. Question is, how do I get there? It looks to me that it's behind this. Or, you know, it's just. 
hidden right here. That is well hidden. That is well hidden. All right. Okay. Now we got all the music for chapter four. And there's no extra music. All right. With that done, let's head to Glit let's head to Glitzville. Spend five hours just to try to find a single shine sprite. Fair, that one is really well hidden. But if you know it's there, it's easy to get. I think that one's well hidden. And there we go. Thanks, shortcut. Again, there's the one shine sprite that we cannot get until after chapter 6. And I think that's all we can get. I can't think of any other bombable spots at the moment. back at Glitzville. Let's go up here very quick. Because I saw the star piece that was under here. And we need to be tube. There we go. Now let's go back into the ring. Let's go see if we can fight. Uh, let's go fight uh, Prince Mush. Apparently we need to do an exhibition match. I don't think we need to be the champ again, though. Let's see how it goes. We need to be the champ again, then, well, this won't take long. I mean, it'll take a bit, but... Alright, exhibition. Because we haven't fought anyone else in our new league, we only have one fight. And that's Prince Mush. Yes, I want to fight him. I want to make sure I'm at full health. At least we don't have to beat the champ again. Alright. <laughs> Let's go fight this new fight! This is new! It's time for today's main event, and we're in for a beaut of a brawl. Here before your eyes, our newest champ, the Great Gonzalez, will battle the very first champion, Prince Mush. Once all is said and done, which of these two beloved fighters will be left standing in the arena? Let's get our star gladiators out here. First, making his triumphant return to the Glitz Pit, it's the Great Gonzalez. You rock, man! Eee! Gonzalez, he's back! You're the man! And what an entrance! The crowd is going wild for Gonzalez, our third champion. And standing opposite our newest champion is the first time first ever fighter to bear the title. That's right, folks! Back in action and better than ever! Ready for a royal return to the ring! Give it up for Prince Mush! Prince Mush, the first champion! We missed you! Woo! Don't lose to Gonzalez! Two champions face to face at last! The excitement among the crowd has reached a new peak! It's time for, to ring the starting bell and begin a match that will echo through the halls of the Glitz Pit for eternity. Get ready to brawl! This is just a new song. Okay, Mario, let's give this match everything we've got. Just 
trying to listen to music. Oh, that's Prince Mush, the original champion of the Glitz Pit. He's finally making his comeback. He's got HP of 96, an attack of 6, and a defense of 6. You'd never guess that he was kept away from fighting for such a long time. He's still a powerhouse. He's known for being a clean fighter, so he'll come straight at you without relying on dirty tricks. He's also known to switch between different battle styles. Just keep an eye on his stance. When he changes it up, we'll have to think fast to come up with a good attack method. And if you're not sure you'll come out on top, try to rely on super guards. I also heard he's not a fan of cake. What's the story there? Hmm, some cake-based drama in the past? Whatever, if you can manage to beat this guy, you'll become the true, unrivaled champion! 96 health, 6 attack, 6 defense. Can we soft stop him? Or. No, you know what? Let's lower his attack. I can't lower his attack. His stance has changed. Bella, please take tank the hits for me. Um, who has more health? No, oh, we'll let Bobbery. We'll just let him do something. No explosion. What if I soft song? Whoa. This is a new fight, so I'm not sure what to do. Hold on, let's... Let's try this again. He dodged! Oh! I think I see what's happening. Wait, he's gone Super Saiyan! And his attack... Oh my god. He has an attack boost now. He can deal 9 damage. Oh my god. Hold on. Let's try hold fast. I didn't get that right. That's fine. Let's see. He's gonna... He's gonna dodge jump attacks. I think that's how this works. Depending on what his stance is, he'll dodge either jump attacks or hammer attacks. Uh, let's just try to get some HP and stuff back. Ah, oh, come on. Not hurting, but I figured I don't really have much else for Mario to do at the moment. Okay. Ow! Ow! Whoa! Oh my god. Oh my god. And he's still in that... Stance. I can't do anything. Miss Mouse? I know you can actually hurt him. Yeah, a good three damage. Alright. He'll dodge jump attacks. So, I can't use the hammer. Oh, what do I do? So, I'm make him dizzy. Okay. Alright. He's still gonna dodge jump attacks. Is there... Wait. Hold on, let me check something. Mini egg. 
Let's see if we can shrink him. He just blocks all of it. So he's not affected by shrink, which that's what I did try. Um, I still can't hit him. Let's do, no, let's do another sweet treat. Get some of my health back. This is gonna be one of the hardest fights. Should have realized that Mini Egg would have done the same thing. Okay. Plus Max. Okay. Now. Oh, he could drain FP? Oh, that's what was happening. Okay, first of all. Now that I got a moment, soft stomp. I got an attack boost. That was lucky. He cannot, you cannot lower his attack or defense. So, is there a single character that can, let's try, hold on, let's try Vivian. I know she cannot actually uh, deal damage. Okay, that's just not the right time to use it, okay. Wait, is he not affected by... He's not affected by Sap Tap. I just realized that. Okay. If I'm going to use Power Lift, I want to use it at the right time. And the only person that can actually... Okay, hold on. You know what? Let's start with Vivian. Can I burn him? He doesn't seem to be affected by burn. I think this is just a straight power move, power match. So, if I were to power lift, and I think that's my only shot, and because I have jump man, I can only hit him half the time. So I have to be very careful. I don't think we can burn him. Bobbery. I think Miss Mouse is the only one that can hit him. And actually deal damage. So. I think I got a power lift. I could use Art Attack. Right. That is another option. Okay, the defense of four is going to help me. Attack of three. He's going Super Saiyan. Mario's not going to make it. I would have to Super Guard. Slap. Alright. I am not going to survive this unless I super guard. Or I can use the boo sheet. I, rent, I lost my life shroom. And Miss Mouse is gone. That's my only other partner that can actually hit. Reliably. If I swap to, say, Koops, he doesn't have the power boost. I can't hit with the hammer. Oh, this is... This is not good. I can't do anything. Okay. 
He just has too much defense. Oh my god. Okay, so... Appeal? Let's try another power lift, I guess. I can see why Prince Mush was the first champion. Okay. I really need my to get my Super Guardian right. Wait. He's been countered. He doesn't have a stance anymore. Okay. Soft stop doesn't work. Do I even? Yeah, we'll try it. He has no defense. He has no defense. Okay. In that case. Oh, I wish power lift was in effect. I could jump on him, just to get some damage on him. I am going to appeal. Power lift is going to be my friend. That's fine. Let's just appeal. Let's just appeal. Ideally, I have to get a counter. I did not get that right. Right, I need the attack boost. I'm still gonna appeal. Gimbala did save the super guard. Super Saiyan. This is probably it. In case he attacks my partner, I want it to be... Sorry. Uh... Sure. Yeah, sweet treat. I really hope he attacks Flurry. Try to give Mario some HP back. Try to get some FP back. He keeps draining it. Damn it. Whatever. It's not much. Watch this do nothing. Just healed. Dead. I get it. Overkill. Prince Mush wins. Okay. That. Oh boy. I guess we'll come back for that one. I did not, I was not expecting that. Wait, do I need to heal again? I probably do. Yeah, I do. I was not expecting that. 
But it sounds like the strategy... The real strategy is to counter him. You gotta perfect guard him. Then he loses his defense. Well, I tried Prince Mush. Now that I know that, um... I almost want to come back once I get more... Once I get the star points. Just to have more access to better skills. I don't know. That? Okay. Wasn't expecting that. But let's go ahead and get chapter 6 started. I guess. Unless we want to just keep refighting Prince Mush. I have to perfect guard him. That's like the only way to win. And if you could get a perfect guard and... From there, you can do, like, Stampede and stuff like that. Power lift Stampede. But anyway. What can we buy from... A Jam and Jelly? That is a cheaper way to get a Jam and Jelly. Let's check the badge shop. shop. And what sucks is half of the time, I can't actually hurt him. Because of how I have Jumpman equipped. Shrink, no, close call. Fire? You can just straight up buy this? Okay. Ice smash, FP drain. Is there anything I don't have? Power rush? Okay. Close call. Super peel partners? Let's get some of these ones that I just straight up don't have. There's probably another way to get these, but, you know. Let's save the money. And in here, we get Super Luigi 2 for 128 coins. There we go. Now, let's go visit the Dawn. Dawn, I need some favors. I need the favor. Oh no. What's going on? <laughs> Francesca. Oh, poor boss. The big man's been sick with loneliness ever since the daughter skedaddled. Under our underboss, Frankie, is gone. The boss is in shambles. What a syndicate to do. To do. That's, that scruffy gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs right from right up, from us right and left. Hey, but enough about us and our stupid problems, huh? What can we do you? What can we do for you? Uh -huh. What? Tickets for the richest train around for the Excess Express? Whoa! You want tickets for that rowing winding? Oh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, and giving out tickets? That's rich. You got to talk to the, the boss for that. Francesca. I just can't stand I just can't stand seeing the boss like this. If only we could help the boss see his daughter again. You mean those Pianta Fra those Piantas? Frankie and Francesca? They're they were on Key Hall Key. Who's on the what now? What did you just say? Repeat that. You know where the young Miss Pianta is at? Really? No lie? I swear to you, if you're lying, I will turn you into confetti, so help me. Well, if that's where she is, why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal. We'd go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, you bring us young Miss Francesca. And we'll ask the boss to do something about your little train ticket train ticket situation. We got a deal or what? See? Now that's better. I knew once you understand our predicament. You couldn't refuse. Don't screw this up. 
All right, let's go find Francesca. Hey, Miss Ruby, how's it going? Right now, uh, just did some troubles. Find some shine sprites that I had to pay to find the one in chapter four. And uh, we fought Prince Mush. Lost horribly, but we fought Prince Mush. He's definitely a super boss. Yeah, what's going on, Miss Ruby? And right now, we gotta go find Francesca. Get in there. Just relaxing and and watching a stream. Well, thanks for stopping by my stream to relax. I hope I can do that. But right now, let's find Francesca. I think she's over here. I'm assuming you've played Paper Mario before. Uh, you're watching this particular stream. But have you tried out the remake? Oh, hi there, Mario. What brings you back here? Can we do something for you? Uh, thank, thank you. What? The boss is sick. Oh, poor daddy. Oh, no. And at a time like this. You see, I, I just dropped the wedding... The wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring. Otherwise, something may eat it. It may be somewhere between here and that skull rock. Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. Shouldn't we forget about that ring for now and check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was a symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore. Is that it? Let's play this game. Very cool. Very cool. Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. No, you're sweet talk now. You're going to have to say you love me a hundred times. hundred times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, come on now, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. Now please, let's go. No, you have to say it 99 more times, Frankie. Aw, oh, fine, you dizzy dame. I love you. I am not going to say this a hundred times. In fact, I'm just going to speed through this. Even Mario's falling asleep to this. So, what Paper Mario games have you played before? <laughs> Personally, I played the first four. I have not played Color Splash. Or Origami King. Sticker Star ruined them. Ruined it for me. <laughs> I'm with you, Mario. <laughs> And you know there's a trouble that makes you do this again. <laughs> I remember that. <sighs> oh, dare I said it. Oh, Frankie baby, you're such a silly billy. <laughs> now, my little cream puff, let's find that ring right away. What do you say? Now you think... Wow, you think these guys are going to be alright looking out for that thing on their own? Listen, Gonzales, we better play it safe and help them, don't you think? Personally, Thousand Year Door is my favorite of the Paper Mario games that I have personally played. But Sticker Star does have... No, not, not Sticker Star. Uh, Super Paper Mario does have the better quad. I remember when I first played that, uh, Super Paper Mario, being upset that I'm like, where's the RPG? It's supposed to be an RPG. Oh, you played the new trilogy, I see. So you haven't tackled the original three. Well, with the, the remake of Thousand Year Door, are you going to pick it up? Yeah. You know, whenever you get a chance, anyway. Yeah. yeah, I've been playing Thousand Year Door for a long time. Alright, use the prime. Let's go find that wedding, wedding ring. 
Granted, this game does have backtracking issues, but the remake fixes some of them, so. Yeah, I still I still have my copy. I didn't get it like day one. I got it when I was in high school. Wedding week. Got got it, gotta go all the way here. Uh apparently I, I paid fifteen dollars for this. And now the GameCube games are going for eighty. <laughs> I'm so glad I picked it up when I did. You also play horror games. Uh, what what horror games? Horror is usually the horror is a genre I don't really play, but I feel like I need to try some of them. I feel like I need to try like uh, some Resident Evil games. Uh, there's probably some other ones that come to mind, but Resident Evil is like the first one to come to mind. I don't think I've played any horror games now that I think about it. I can't think of it. Ah, that's it! My my ring! You found it! Frankie, now we can go home to Daddy. We sure can, my little my little cheese and cracker. Let's go. So, well, so anyway, we'll be down at the dock. Hurry back, please. Uh, I have to head all the way back there. Okay. But yeah, I uh, I remember playing. The original N64 game at a friend's house when I was a kid. I didn't get to beat it. I think he sold it or something before I could finish it. But I was able to play through it when it went to WiiWare. The Thousand Year Door I borrowed from a friend because I didn't get it right away, but eventually I got it myself. Okay, Mario. I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to room four. Try this in room four. Dead by Daylight in the horror world. Oh, please hang on until we get there. Yeah, with RE, I feel like I want to try the RE stuff. Que pasa? Need to go back to rope. More at the end. We are off. Cast off to rope. I feel like I need to eventually try out the RE games. Uh, but I don't own any of them. I know a good chunk of them are on Steam, though. But I'm not sure how well... My PC runs, you know, those games while trying to stream at the same time. I tried Elden Ring. Apparently, it wasn't going well. Just to test out to see how well it runs. We have to go see Daddy immediately. I don't know. It was a hand-me-down from a friend. <laughs> I know nothing about PCs. Like... I bet I could play the game on my own just fine. It's it's streaming it that's the problem at the same time. Like, I could play Elden Ring. Streaming at the same time, apparently it causes issues. Apparently it doesn't run that well, I guess. But yeah. yeah so I'm mainly a console player, so a lot of time I'll probably have to, like, just get the console versions. How long have I been streaming? Just in general? Um, I think. Well, it's more than two years. I think it'll be three years in September. Daddy, 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 wake up! Open your eyes, boss. Francesca? Daddy! Boss! Oh, my real little Francesca. You came back for me. And you too, Frankie. Of course we did, Daddy. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. Francesca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man. Forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but I want... I want the two of you to stay here with me. <laughs> I know. I can't I can't bear to be away from you two lovebirds. And I'm an old man now. I need peace. <laughs> I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish. Selfish. Causing trouble. Everyone trouble. <laughs> Looks like even Don Pianta, the dawn of un ultimate, ultimate death, can't escape the old age. <laughs> the time has come. 
Everyone, I'm gonna retire. Whoa, boss! No! No, it's time. I mean it. And I want you to be my successor, Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you are the you are the new head of the Pianta Syndicate. What? But boss, you still got it in ya. You. You're a spring chicken. You don't gotta do this. And I mean, me? Boss? No, you're the one, F Frankie. I have been thinking that for a long time now. You'll do, you'll do just fine, kid. I got a feeling about you. A good one. I want you to take care of Francesca and, and the rest of the syndicate. The way I do. Boss! You, Mario. It looks like you've done it yet another favor for me, kid. Y yeah. Uh, about that, boss. Oh, this is gonna be a beautiful. I know it. What do you. What did you guys do? Uh, well, we kind of promised him something, boss. We told him we'd ask you about a ticket for the Express Express. If he brought you his daughter. Brought you your daughter. Whoa! <laughs> is that all? You had me worried for a second. Come over here, Mario. How many do you want? One, two, ten? Help yourself. We got the train ticket for Poshley Heights. You come back anytime you like. How about that? Well, now that I have retired, I'm gonna get out of here. Daddy! Boss! You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that? You, the boss. You do good now, Frankie. Frankie, we got lots of work to do. And don't worry, I'll keep you in line. Sweet Bean, come on. Knock it off with the pet names nonsense, will you? Call me Francesca. Uh, f f f Francesca? Yes, or Miss Boss. Tee hee hee. Underboss. Er, I mean, boss. You got our loyalty. Do I have a Discord? I do have a Discord. It is. is the same as. you know, it's still here. Hold on. I mean, I do have a Discord page for this, but I am bad at, uh, you know, just being social, but I'll put a link to the page all together. Paste. That's to the page itself. I'm bad at being social, you know? That's just me, though. Uh, we'll be by your side whenever you need us, boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. You're welcome here anytime. You're the brother to me. You're like a brother to me. You ain't bad, kiddo. Yeah, you ever think about joining up with the Syndicate? It's the life, kid. Hmm, Mario a part of the Pianta Syndicate? Now that's artwork I need to see. Granted, remember, Mario when first, when Mario first got hit here, he got mugged. And now he's he could potentially be a part of the Pianta Syndicate. He's moving up in life. Yes, yes, yes! We could go to Poshley Heights! Yes! That six crystal star is as good as ours. <laughs> I heard that, my uglies. Thanks, Miss Ruby. I am bad at being social, but go ahead if you ever want. If you want to say, talk to. If you ever want to talk, go right ahead. <laughs> I guess. So the six crystal stars in Poshley Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. Hey, you're that Beldum. Normally this would be where I finally deal with you and that sappy traitor Vivian. But something tells me that trying that alone might be unwise, so you live for now. Instead, I'll just beat you to Poshley Heights, and 
and get that crystal star before you do. Wee! <laughs> oh, that sounded bad. We gotta get to Poshley Heights before that witch. Let's make tracks for Roadport Station. And we can start Chapter 6 at the very least. Oh, wait, there's something else here I forgot. I just remembered. We could have done this uh, like a chapter ago. And of course, uh, his, uh, this guy's wife is still at the gambling hall. You know, leaving his husband. You know. There's a shrine sprite here. Come on, there we go. Go through here. And somehow that connects to this guy's dresser drawer. Okay, you need to get that fixed, my dude. How many shine sprites do I have? Eight? Okay. You know what? Before we do chapter six, let's go power up our partners. I can power up two more. Because if I don't do this now, it's going to be until after the chapter before I can power up anyone else. But yeah, if you're curious, I do stream kind of a variety of stuff. <laughs> I just kind of jump between games, you know, like every stream. Let's start with Goombella. I think Goombella is more important. Uh, yeah. Like before this, I was playing Mega Man Battle Network 5. And before that, I was playing Dragon Quest 1 and 2. So I kind of jump between stuff. And Goombella's powered up. Now, who to... I got one more. Miss Mouse, she'll start dealing four damage and ignore defense, but Bomberry is really powerful. I think I want to go with either of these two. What was Vivian's... Oh, infatuate and confuse all enemies. Attack all enemies. To attack all ground enemies. Make Mario dodgy, that might have been helpful against Prince Mush. Um. Oh, Miss Mouse just has the ability to just heal Mario. Okay. Now let's power up Bobbery. Being able to just explode every enemy is not that bad. Alright, we'll skip this. Now, let's start Chapter 6. Again, I don't think I'll be able to finish it today. But we'll at least get it started. And if we want, we could try Prince Mush again after Chapter 6 in between. Now that I have an idea of what I need to do. Let's go start the next chapter. This is the Excess Express, bound for a luxurious Poshley Heights. Passengers must present a ticket to board. Everything looks in order. Will you be coming aboard? Watch your step, please. All aboard! And this chapter is... Pretty chill, honestly. This is a more relaxing chapter. Not to say nothing happens, but it's pretty chill overall. Chapter 6 Three Days of Excess. Ah, uh, yeah, the Excess Express. This is so deluxe, man. The three days to Poshley Heights are going to be over like that. Huh? Hey, you see that? Something, something on the floor. When did that get there? Don't go to Poshley Heights. Get off the train now, or a sticky, yummy doom awaits. 
What? What? What a freaky threat. You don't think this could be Beldum's work, do you? Whoever this creep is, you gotta figure they're on this train, right? We gotta get this guy before anything bad goes down on this train. First, Shine Sprite. Alright. Bella, what do you got to say? Come on. This is Cabin 5, which is our cabin. If we need a rest, the bunk here is the super comfy. Train naps are the best. Uh, I don't think I need healing. I don't think it fills up star power either. So let's let's explore around. Talk to the cabin mates. Who else is riding this uh, train? Uh, hmm, no one here. Oh, I should have tattled. Oh, well. This is a passenger car. Orange and brown decor. That actually looks good. The passenger cabins here are number threes, four, and five, in case you forget your numbers. Come on. This is a passenger car. Orange and brown looks... Wait. Oh, she only says something about your cabin. Okay. Hey, hello there. You know, I used to dream of one day getting to ride on this train. And now I finally got a ticket. Dreams do come true. That's Hefty, the gourmet toad. There isn't an entree out there he can't lick. Literally. He's here for the train ride and the excellent food. He's got travel he's got travel all figured out. I'm taking notes. So yeah, let's just explore. There's not much to do on this train. This is a passenger car. The green and brown colors actually work here. Wow! There are two passenger cabins here. Numbers one and two. Ooh, fancy. Well, hello there, you tucky debonair dish of a man. You, you're smashing, dear. What's this? Me? A witch? Well, people have certainly said that I... Possessed of an enchanting aura. But you are the first person to remark so boldly on my bewitching beauty, dear. That's Toodles the Toad. Oh, we saw her in Glitzville. That's right. Gosh, that woman is so fashionable. It makes me sick. She obviously is the kind of lady that belongs on this train. Classy all the way. Yeah, she was in Glitzville, I remember. She was there for the fights. Hey, guy. Yeah, you know this, but I'm the absurdly famous movie star, Zip Toad. I'm gonna shoot this little multi-billion coin art flick in Poshley Heights, yo. I tell you, being a celebrity is rough. Everywhere I girl, everywhere I go, girls mob me for my autograph. Exhausting. I knew I knew him. That's Zip Toad, the movie star. Women go wild for him. You know, he's hot and all, but he seems pretty stuck up about being famous. I guess all celebrities are kind of like that. It's too bad, because I kind of liked him. And never meet your heroes, huh, Goombella? This is the engineer's car of the Excess, Ex Excess Express. Any kid would love to see this. Look at me, Mario. I'm an engineer. Whoop whoop. Hey, but driving a train is really nothing to joke about. I totally respect engineers. Wow. <laughs> Greetings, welcome to the Excess Express. I am what's called the train engineer. Our journey to Poshley Heights will take approximately three days. Days filled with up, uh, opulent luxury, luxury, I might add. So let's all hear it for the Excess Express. Huzzah, huzzah. What, what? A sticky, yummy thread of some kind. Are you serious? Oh, that shan't be good for business. I can't leave the controls, so you can inform the conductor at the end of the train. Or can you? Okay. That's the engineer of the Excess Express. Talk about a dream job for kids. But just saying you drive a train doesn't make you cool. You gotta love the job. I mean, we're talking about a train here. That's some serious responsibility. Check the other way. Go past our cabin. Over here. Hmm. 
This is the dining car. There also seems to be a cute little shop here. Dining and shopping while watching scenery go by? Talk about heavenly. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the dining car where you eat and stuff. Some people take this train just so they can eat our yummily fabulous food. And this trip we have is... We have a super famous actor on board. Zip T or Zip Toad. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm totally swooning. I hope he come I so hope he comes here to eat comes here to eat soon. I want an autograph. That's the server of the Excess Express. Some people find her a bit spacey. Uh think she's an okay think she's an okay waitress. Either way, she's proven to be pretty popular among the passengers. Any ideas why, Mario? Hello, I am Chef Shimi, a col the culinary expert. Glad to make your acquaintance. Uh, I mean, acquaintance. Sorry, so sorry. Cheap cheap is my first language, you know. Today's lunch is so amazing, it will make your tongue cry out in shame. Please do taste it so, uh, so that my passion does not wither alone in, in a pot of loneliness. This is Chef Shimi, the cook aboard the Excess, Excess Express. Man, I can't speak, but that's normal. He has to cook for everyone here, so he's always busy. I can't figure this guy out. I have no idea if he's joking most of the time. Shop's open. Well, we can buy... We can buy mystery presents. That's a random thing. Sales stall. We got lots of souvenirs. Let me see. That's the sales stall owner. You can buy and sell things here, obviously. Yeah, just about the only thing cooler than traveling is cooler than traveling is traveling and shopping. Yeah, I already got the dialogue here. Let's go to the next cart. This is a passenger car. The blue and brown interior is totally chic. The passenger cabins here are number six, seven, and eight. But you knew that. Six. I am on my way back home. I've strayed so long. I've forgotten what it looks like. That's a that's Pennington, a train passenger. He says he's a detective, I, but I don't know. I mean, why do detective types always show up when something goes wrong, huh? I have a very important deal to attend to once we atten arrive in Poshley Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything goes on the expense account. Yes? That is Ratui. That's a Ratui businessman. He's on the Excess Express for business, obviously. I bet he's putting everything on the expe expense account. Huh? Is that a fringe but benefit? One more cabin. And it's, it's this family. Yeah, I'm Bub, and we're gonna get a birthday present from me. And it will be cool. Aren't you jealous? We're on route to Poshley Heights to buy a birthday present for a little Bub here. Um, hmm. <laughs> my, my, my. Oh, you are the champion of the Glitz Pit, are you not? Yes, the Greek Gonzalez. Bound for Poshley Heights? Well, it certainly it is certainly a fitting place for a celebrity like you. That's Gobob, the bomb. He's the head of a wealthy business bombing, uh, gold bombing tents. He's got buckets of ducats, they say. I guess some folks are just good with money. I think she's saying the same thing. That's Sylvia, the bomb. She's super wealthy. She's got a real high society air around. Yeah, she is saying the same thing. She might have said the same thing about uh, the other female toad. It's, uh, very. He's from a very rich family, so he's kind of spoiled. So kids are kids, no matter how big their transfers are. Yeah, okay, she she says the same thing. First, that's the conductor of the Excess Express. He takes care of passengers' needs. Keeping the train running smoothly is not just the engineer's job, you know. Hello, you, and welcome to the Excess Express. I am the conductor of this train. I trust you must be Mr. Mario from Cabin 5. Make yourself at home, sir. Just to let you know, beyond here is the baggage car. I'm sorry, but I can't let passengers in. What's that? Some sort of sticky, yummy threat? I see. Good gracious me. 
Thank you for letting me know. Please be careful out there and return to your cabin. Not much else. Let's just head back. It's just like, man, I wish I could just sleep. And it was past the time. But no, there's a threat here. No, my heart cries out in salty pain of misery. That was my masterpiece. I mean, my masterpiece. And now it's gone. I am left with tears of horror in my eyes. Oh no, and Siptoad is here and everything. No, my life is totally ruined. I'm dying for, taco for a taco guy. Couldn't you just whip up some grub real quick? What? They took the whole pot? Really? The whole deal? This isn't in my contract. I thought I was going to have a nice lunch on, the ex on my expense account. Rats. This truly is unfortunate. Almost tragic, really. Hmm, yes. I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. But what shall we call it? That is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? Hmm, yes. The case of the pot of supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that will do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery. One that impacts you all. What? A mystery? A mystery, you just said. And, uh, um, er, exactly. What kind of dish is that? I am known as Pennington. You would likely not have guessed it, but I am a detective. At the risk of animosity, you might, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. And this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. Ooh, this cent the central clue of this case, and also the most vital one, as it happens, is that our perp uh, perpetrator took the whole pot of stew, stew and all, and so my esteemed friends, I can only conclude that the one responsible is you, m uh, you, you gluttonous w woman. What? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Um, pardon me. Sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear woman. I felt the need to practice my accusation skills, you know? You understand. Yes, sorry. Ahem. Very good. Now, let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case worthy of my intellect. Mm, yes. Let me get this straight. So, what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And, uh, I guess that's about it, right? Oh, uh, this scene is total for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my cabin. Hmm, you there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your cabin, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I have just broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad, the actor. Zip Toad? The Zip Toad? No! Way, Mr. Detective Person, you're just making stuff up. You, you Tweety Geezer. Tweety Geezer, Geezer. I can't say I deserve such verbal thrashing. But well, then, who did do it? Hmm. Hmm. This puzzle, this puzzle deepens with every confounding step. Well, we got, we got to solve it ourselves. You, my whiskered friend have been hovering rather suspiciously, haven't you? I find that rather suspect. Highly suspect indeed. People, I have apprehended the rogue. Yes, I've broken the case wide open. He has been soaking around this area this whole time, under our very noses. The pot of supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously, Bandit, is you! You are not the Bandit, you say? Hmm. Indeed, you would say that. Well, if you are not, in fact, the crook, then perhaps you could prove your innocence by searching for the real perpetrator. Then we will know that it is not you. Fair? A clue. There are traces something on, of something on the flooring. Whoa, this looks like spilled stew on the floor. Nasty. I almost stepped in it. We could just follow the trail to the thief, don't you think? 
And you know what? It might even be a, the sneaky so-and-so that made the sticky, yummy threat. What makes you say that? If, if you steal, uh, you probably do the other bad stuff, right? My stew, I must have it back. It is a delicate truffle of anchovy bowl, uh, bowl of A's. You believe me, right? Because no way it's zip toad. No way. Hey, think. Hey, thanks, babe. Tee. <laughs> so, un so uncool. How do you know? How do I know you're not the criminal? Don't come near me. There's other people in the train car, my dude. How do we not know it's it's not the engineer that stole all the food? Cabin three, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you want? <clears throat> Sorry about that. No, what were you just saying? A pot from the kitchen. Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen and you blame me right away with no evidence. Not nice. What? Drops the stew on the floor outside. N no, I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawer, no need. So, you no need to look. You won't find a thing. There are several gourmet food magazines here. One of them is an issue devoted to the food of the Excess Express. There's a large photo of Chef Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. There's something under the magazines. We got the empty, empty stew pot. Uh, you were the culprit! I'm sorry, I ate it all! It was me! So, you were the enamored of the stew. You were so enamored of the stew that you wanted to steal it to devour more. And you sold the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots. Answer! Yes. Yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. Make this terrible crime crime never recur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the unkempt facial hair. My keen sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to call her the ruffian. Now, about that note on your cabin. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in cabin six, so we may discuss this in private. Oh, and please return the pot to the, sh uh, to the chef if you could. Sorry for causing all the commotion, but man, that stew was scrum diddly umptious. I can't wait for dinner. Yeah, so Chapter 6 is kind of like Chapter 7 in the original Paper Mario. In the original Paper Mario, we get framed for murder. And there's a mystery on our hands on how, how the Mayor Penguin died. Now, we're on a train full of mysteries. Oh, good sir. Have you discovered my thoughts? Wait, my pot? Oh, sir, you are the hero of my world. You have brought it back. My, you have brought my, brought back my dear pot. It is empty, of course, but it is mine, and I love it. Thanks, thanks to you, from me. Here, just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please fake it. Uh, why must I butcher this language so, so shameful? Please take it, Ivy. Yeah, we got a star piece. All right, let's go visit Pennington. Ha, huh, I've been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on this on this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is our sticky, yummy malcontent. I've deduced this from the lack of any incriminating clues in this cabin. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it is decided then. I shall take you on out. I shall take you on as my new assistant. To re reiterate, my name is Pennington. I'm a I am a detective from Poshley Heights. I am known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. I'm sure you have heard of me, so that is all I wish to say on the subject. And as for your name, wait, I demand you do not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. The mustache. 
That nose. Mm. Oh, 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 all too easy. You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi. Are you not? I just heard the sound effect for Luigi. That was, I think, added in. That's nice touch. Yeah, Mario doesn't want to be called Luigi. No need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. Now, about that th about this threat. Our man has declared his intent to yummify this train. A sticky, tasty explosion. That family of bob -ombs, they're definitely suspect. Now, Luigi, we will reduce this case into rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. Well, I guess we'll go talk to the bombs. And it is now... It's now dusk. The sunset. It's a very nice atmosphere. Mom and Dad are fighting about what to get me for my birthday. I'm so bored. I wish I brought my GBA. I think we should get. I think we should get a little bub the Advanced Learner's Classic series of Bob Amory. Two words: cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house. Bob is too small for such things. Go, Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him. Honestly. I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. Hey, mister, are you a detective now that you quit being a champion? Well, so, you think you could detect what I really want for my birthday? Really? Cool. Okay, if you bring me exact, bring me what I want, then I'll give you something in return. Here's your hint. It has AU at the front. Now you got it, don't you? Hmm... The hint for what is ah at the front. Do you want another hint? Actually, no. I don't know if there's like any sort of reward and it diminishes if you get more hints. I can hear everything that family was fighting about loud and clear from out here. One thing I heard was cute. That boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. What an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that. <laughs> If there is a reward for not asking for so many hints, then we're just gonna go go to it right now. But I don't think that's the case, but we're just gonna go anyway. You solved this incident in record time. I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it, I could use your skills. Could you help me? Really? Wow, okay. So I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. And they're like a full of all full of memories and stuff. I really need the back. Could you maybe look for them or something? Please? I forgot about that. Yes, yeah, about this thief. I'm actually pleased that he craved my stew enough to steal the entire pot. My heart is filled with no anger, but rather the warm broth of satisfaction. Well, I know where I need to go. You think there would be like another room for right there? Even if it's just a storage closet. Little Bub admires me because I'm a train engineer. Well, shucks. Oh, okay. I need to get the other hint. Mario can't get. doesn't have enough information off of that. Okay. I guess we do need the other hint. Never mind. I'm thinking step three before step two, but I didn't know step two was required in this case. It's not that I forgot, I just didn't think it was required. All right. Yeah, we'll, a we'll ask for another hint. Okay, here's your second hint. It's a certain person's autograph. Now you got it, don't ya? That's enough info. There we go. Now let's go to the engineer.
Let's go all the way to the end. There, now we talk to the engineer. Could have saved some backtracking. Oh well. That's on me. You want my autograph, sir? Oh, it's for a little bub. Oh, yes, of course. Here you are, sir. There we go. Gosh, I've never given out, given out an autograph before. That felt fantastic. Oh, there we go. Now we head back to Little Bulb. Actually, does anyone say anything different now? I should double check. What does the little bulb kid want as a present, huh? Well, I'm sure he'd be stoked to have an autograph from a famous movie star. Right, guy? <sighs> Sorry, though. That's a no-can-do for me. My fee for autographs is out of your budget. I'm pretty sure the gold bulbs could get it if they really wanted to. They have the money. Well, hello there, you fine species of man. You're marvelous, dear. You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well, well done. You're so raggedly smart. Ruggedly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now, listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you please hasten the search along for me? You boldly brilliant man, you. And giant mounds of cosmetics inside. I think when it comes to the gold ring and the shell earrings, I don't think we could do anything about those yet. Let me just take a look around. Several postcards and glasses. Or, uh, glasses featuring zip, zip toe inside. Okay. Anyway. Nothing else here. Do you say anything different? Might as well look around. Oh man, let's do what's... Okay, you say the same thing. The gourmet magazines. The food on the express. Again, I don't think we could do anything about the earrings or the gold ring yet. But I figure we might as well just look. Nothing in there. Okay. Is it hidden in my room? Did I, am I the thief the entire time? Dried mushroom inside the drawer. Someone left that there. I wonder, if I were to have checked that drawer right when uh, we got to the cabin, would it have been a normal mushroom? But since I waited till sunset, it dried up? Or was it always just a dried shroom? Check drawers. Several detective novels here. The thing about yester the thing that young Master Bub wants most. Well, let's deduce that, shall we? Why, it's rud rudimentary. He wants a Game Boy Advance, my dear Luigi. Yes, I'm quite sure. My grasp of the modern youth, culture, enthusiast, desires have never been stronger. I mean, he said he already has one, he just didn't bring it. There's nothing in there. I was really looking forward to plop, plopping that stew on my expense account. Uh, oh well. I'll just reorder the next most expensive thing on the dinner menu. Alright. Check the drawers. It was a star piece. Okay. I don't know if I ever found that one before. So, did you bring me the thing I want most? Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. Ooh, a shine sprite. Thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it. I promise. Can you say the same thing? I my reputation to think of soon. Well, I still think we should get him the classic series of Bob Armory. All right, nothing else. That's done. And now... It is, it is nighttime. 
Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me. I just remembered something suspicious. I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact, I have exact blanket counts. It means someone came on board without a ticket. That stowaway might, uh, just might be your suspect, Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. If you could look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket, I'd thank you. Come blanket pie. Blanket P.I. There, there we go. Honestly, Clint, great, thanks. Well, I have to keep watch here, but I'll be, wa I'll be waiting for the good news. Let's go see what everyone has to say. Hey, uh, by the way, what's a detective anyway? Okay, so these, uh, they say the same thing. Let's see if anyone says anything different. I'm gonna try to get all my paperwork done today so I can enjoy myself tomorrow. So, uh, could you just stay out of my way for a little while? What's this? There's an unticketed passenger. Just as I su just as I suspected. The conductor was one br blanket short, eh? Then we are hunting a lone intruder. That would definitely rule out the family in the cabin eight. Rudimentary, my dear boy. And that is the only hint I will give you today, my sleuth apprentice. You must strike out on your own with that little nugget of investigative wisdom. Of course, I have other hints to share if you if I so choose. No? Truly. For example, the unticketed passenger is without a doubt our yummy, sticky suspect. Oh, I thought this would technically be closed because it's nighttime, but no, they let you buy stuff. And now, if you please, I must begin to prepare the evening, evening orders. Uh, no, curse this tongue of mine. I mean, evening hors d'oeuvres. Welcome to the dining car. You are just the greatest. Thank you so much for agreeing to find my shell earrings. Actually. Uh. Napkins and plates are neatly arrayed here. Are they say the same thing? Yep. Okay. What else do we got? Well, definitely not in my cabin. There was no one in there. What about cabin three? I heard some noises in the cabin next door a little while ago. Weird ones. But when I looked in there, it was empty. I was like, okay, that was freaky. Then, when I came back, I heard the noises again. It really spooked me. Would you mind checking that cabin for me? So, cabin, f uh, cabin four, huh? I want to see what the others have to say. See if there's any other, any new dialogue. Help me find my gold ring. Okay, so you still say the gold ring. Okay. I'm gonna shoot this little multi billion coin flick in Pashley Heights, yo. Okay, yeah, you say the same thing. The businessman said something different. What about the what about the engineer? Driving at night is so mysterious, and with that light and bugs and whatnot. So let's all hear it for the Excess Express. Huzzah, huzzah. Same thing. Okay, never mind. All right, let's check cabin four. So, what we need to do, grab Vivian, go hiding. Egad, a ghost! So you found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy, sticky threat? No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. 
What? You just want the blanket back then? Well, I'll tell you where it, where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? All I need is your life. No, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear that someone would find and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room. So can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. Goombella? That's Ghost T. He's pretty lighthearted for a ghost. But still, a ghost is a ghost. And don't you even dare read my diary. Because if you do... <laughs> a horrible fate awaits you. Uh, that's, a, that's a threat. Let's go get his diary. All the way back to the conductor. Yeah, it's mostly a chill chapter. Not much really going on. Right now, anyway. So is Belden just hiding on the train? Or can they move faster than the train? Did you find the blanket? What? A ghost? Eek! A and he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car. I see. Well, go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. This is the baggage car. Usually passengers aren't allowed back here. Looks like there's a lot of cargo here, ready to be unloaded at the next stop. Anything up here? Can I get... Nope. Can't get up there. So we need to go back there. And that's all I can do. We got the ragged... Uh, the ragged diary. The diary the ghost kept. You shouldn't read it. Don't do it. Don't read it. Or else a terrible fate will, will happen. Did you find the diary? Wonderful. I knew you would. Now, I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. Though, I would like to see what's written in it. Mm, even the conductor's curious... The ghost told us not to read it, but the conductor's curious on what it says. Hmm, what do we do? Hmm, I don't know. I think we should make a save. I think we should read it. Read the diary? Oh sure, what the heck. You may be cursed by the ghost. Do you want to read it anyway? Yeah, what, what the heck? I mean, think about this, okay? This could really, really, this could be really, really bad. You understand me. Month X, day X. Cloudy, I got on a train today, and on that train... You looked! Even though I told you not to, now see what happens! <laughs> we could just last save it doesn't matter I guess you could try again in the GameCube version if you do that make sure you save uh, apparent I did not know this until I watched it like a let's play that showed it off so that was in some ways it's new to me did you find my diary in that case can you place it in that drawer Yes, this is my diary. Very well. Your bl blanket is right here. You were very wise not to read, uh, not to read my diary, friend. <laughs> if you had to read, if you had read it, you might be a spirit like me now. But now I could go peacefully on from this world, 
Thank you so much. You'll probably never meet me again in this world. Fare thee well. He's off to a better place. Or, or not. Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I kind of got used to it. The wood panel is so great. Maybe I'll stay a little bit long, while longer. I can leave whenever. So, that's all there is to it. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Alright. Let's go give the blanket back. Hi, Molly. What's going on? You want attention? My dog wants attention. So, Mr. Mario, how did you do... How did you do with the blanket? Oh, thank you so much! Now I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. But hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture as my thanks. Uh, super mushroom. It's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should just turn in for the night. You're in cabin five, in case you forgot. If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. Do not worry about a thing. For I am the conductor of the Excess Express. Well, like you said, nothing else to do. Let's go ahead and get some sleep. And now it's closed. Okay. Actually, do you say anything different? Doing prep for tomorrow's me meals, which will be plates of glory. Ah, uh, traitorous tongue. Am I doing prep work for tomorrow's meals? The kitchen is closed. Uh, I could see if anyone else says anything. Actually, yeah, let's double check. I think I need a midnight snack. Is that is that dining card still open? Oh, people do say something different. Let's go double check. And I'm gonna have to check uh, the last car again. Uh, time for my beauty sleep. Staying up late causes wrinkles, you know. Okay, yeah, people say different stuff. I'm feeling totally wrung out, guy. It's hard to be famous, let me tell you. Yeah, yeah, tell me how famous you are all you want. I don't care. <laughs> all right. Uh, for the engineer, there is neither day or night. There is only the long, lonely track stretching out to the horizon. All right. Because everyone says something different, let's go back to the final, ca the last cabin. Let's see what they say, and then we'll go to uh, go to our cabin. Actually, let's see if the ghost says anything. Do you say anything different? Sleep. Oh, I don't get tired. Ghosts are just like that, I guess. Alright. Before we do that, let's go see what everyone else has to say, and then we'll use... Then we'll sleep. Anytime, what do you guys say? I see. So it was not, in fact, our yummy, sticky suspect. Just as I suspected, the mystery deepens. It is getting rather late. Let us turn in and work on this case tomorrow. Oh, hold on. It has been hard keeping night watch lately. It was a piece of cake when I was young. Well, one more cabin. It's time for sleepies. Dad says ghosts come out if you stay up late. My, there are really only two. There are only two beds. I suppose I'll share a bed with Bub. Dear Go Bob's night sweats are repugnant. Good gracious! I just noticed there are only two beds in here. Does that mean I'm to share a bed with the wife? Do they not know she explodes regularly in her sleep? I demand a refund. 
Oh no. Bub's, uh... Bub's not gonna have a good night's sleep, isn't he? No matter what happens. Also, now that I'm thinking about it, bombs having nightmares, they could just explode in the middle of the night. I never thought about that. <laughs> they're just having a nightmare or something, and they're in mid-battle, and they just explode. <laughs> it's like sleep-talking sort of thing. Hey, let's grab a few winks, huh? Increase your viewers and follower counts. Ah, oh, gee, I don't know, Act. This does sound like a good deal, but I don't know. You, that bot symbol. I mean, I may be a bot, but do I trust other bots? I don't know. Oh, it does refill star power. Well, I mean, I, I hate to do this act, but I, I got stuff going on later, <laughs> so I gotta wrap it up. Oh no, more people. I'm sorry. I gotta wrap it up. I'm so sorry. I got stuff going on later. And I figured this is a good time to end it. Uh, I guess I'll do my normal wrap up. Thanks for everyone who showed up, even ever so brief. I know, I'm sorry. I do these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams, they're not on Twitch anymore. They're on YouTube at ScottBot64 Stream Archives. Again, I'm sorry. Uh, I have stuff going on later. So I gotta wrap it up now, and this is just a good spot to do it. Again, if you just showed up, I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, next time we'll continue chapter six. Uh, we'll do this. We should be able to do the stuff in between, and we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bad timing, I know. Anyway, have a good day. Later.